I bought this t-shirt for my wife a long time ago, back when we were dating, and she wore it for a number of years, and then she handed it down to the kids, and they wore it for a number of years, and now my youngest has outgrown it, and so my wife is like, well, this one's going to the rag pile, but, you know, the colors on it are still kind of cool, and we've always liked the design, so I'm going to do some playing today, and I'm taking a page out of Peter Brown's book. So the design's about 12 inches long, about 9 inches tall, and I have here a piece of scrap plywood that's 9 and a half and plenty long, so I should be able to use this for the backer board. This is a test I did a couple of days ago. I tried some with 5 minute epoxy, which, which is okay, but that's going to take a ton. And then this is with the west epoxy, so it, this is one pump, so that's just a section like that, so I'm thinking something like five or six pumps I'm going to need. It's stuck down pretty good. Kind of an amber color and that's because my hardener is getting old so it's turning amber on me. Might be kind of interesting. Let's take a time out for a minute. As I was getting ready to move on and I was thinking about things I thought you know this is this is some oak plywood here and I'm afraid that this is just going to show through the white, much like the green here, I think, is responsible for a lot of the dark on this test pieces. So I thought I could, you know, spray paint this white maybe, sand it down, and that's going to add a big delay. Then I thought, what if I just, what if I put on some nice white backing paper? I happen to have this thick paper that my wife got. And so I did another quick test. So here's some of that paper that I've cut out and I've put onto a piece of wood and I did it halfway. Now this epoxy isn't even dry yet, but here on this side, yeah, the t-shirt practically turned transparent. You can see through it, but here the white background has done pretty nicely. So I think that's how I'm going to move forward. So let's get some white paper on this. Where do you keep your giant rolls of paper? I was afraid I was going to have to iron it. I wear jeans and polo shirts to work. I always tell people life is too short to iron. But this needs to be smooth, but I don't think I need to iron it. I think I can just spread it out. But I do need to cut it up. Okay, so I know I'm going to uh, glue this down with epoxy. But I'm first going to stick it down with the spray adhesive because I don't want it to move. So I hope they don't react badly with each other. So, instant ironing. One, two, Almost like weak tea. I want it to go through the fabric so it bonds nicely. But I still want a nice layer over top. And then let's just spread it out nice and even. I almost feel like I'm making a placemat for a restaurant. <laughs> that was not my intention. Okay, now, time to play with fire. Woodworker blows himself up on YouTube. Film, well, it's YouTube, whatever.
All right, day two. Nice and solid. So the torch took care of most of the bubbles. Pretty nice results, not absolutely perfect. I could maybe polish it up a bit. Now, yeah, let's get this thing trimmed down to size and see about putting it in a frame. Trying to figure out the best way to cut it. I figure if a saw blade gets in this fabric, it could rip it to shreds. So I think I always want to make sure I'm cutting in the epoxy section, but I still want to end up with something square-ish. Let me think, think, think. Well, if I can get this to focus, that's what the edge of it looks like. You got a thin coating of epoxy, then you got the fabric, and then the piece of quarter inch plywood underneath that. And here it is, my finished t-shirt epoxy resin thing. But I think we can do better than this. So how about this? This is a cherry frame. I had some extra framing stock left over from a framing project I did a couple of years ago, which I used to make this. Um, I skipped over all the framing because, well, earlier this year I did a project where I, I did framing, and really the point of this project was the whole epoxy resin. And the epoxy part, I think, turned out really cool. It's kind of neat to think that this was, you know, a wrinkly t-shirt a little while ago, and now it's kind of an innovative piece of artwork. And really, my only complaint is the whole amber look to it. And I know I can fix that next time if I'm just willing to buy some new hardener for my West System kit. So yeah, this was a whole, on the whole, this was a success. So that's about it for this project. Once again, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and spending some time in my shop. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you feel I've earned it, please consider subscribing and we will see you next time. Let's do this one more time. But I think we can do better than this. Boy, that is turning out terrible.